if you're staying in tonight and Valentine's night, because some people want to do that rather than go out, and you fancy maybe a, a lovely homemade meal in minutes, well, Ching has a quick and easy chicken chow mein. In this series, I've got loads of tips for you to make delicious Chinese meals packed full of flavour and ready in minutes. Simple, tasty, all on a budget. I've got a really great easy dish for you. I've got here some fresh, juicy chicken thighs. I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt and ground white pepper. I've got here already garlic ginger chilli. This is the holy trinity of Chinese cooking. I'm just going to peel the ginger. Just do it with a teaspoon. Give that a nice grate. If you've got children, it's a great way to get them to eat a bit of ginger. Now, I've already got some julienne carrots. Now, I've always got some fresh tender stem broccoli. Slice this on the angle, so it's gonna just stir fry really nicely. Get the wok nice and hot. Mix the chicken a little bit. The wok is ready, it's smoking hot. It's time to add the oil. I've got some rapeseed oil. Give the oil a little swirl. In with the garlic, the chilies, the ginger, very quickly. Give that a good mix, then add in the chicken. Now, just let the chicken settle for a few seconds before you turn it. Don't worry if a little bit of the garlic or the ginger catches on the edge of the wok because that just all adds to the smoky wok hay flavor. And you hear that sizzle, that's exactly what you want. Before the chicken completely cooks, we're going to add in some Shaoxing rice wine or dry sherry, and this is the magic ingredient in Chinese cooking. This is what you want. You want to invest in store covered ingredients. Once you've got this, the dish is really cheap. So we're going to add in a drop of dark soy sauce. And we always add the vegetables at the end because this is going to keep them nice and bright and fresh. And then we're going to go in with some cooked egg noodles. And I just bought these from the supermarket. So make some space. Add egg noodles, and then at this point, you can just slowly bring it together and then toss to coat. Perfect. Now it's time to add in the oyster sauce. This wouldn't be oyster sauce chicken chow mein without the two tablespoons. One final drop of the light soy sauce, just a small dash, not too much, because it's already got a lot of seasoning in there. So I can take it off the heat. And then lastly, fresh, crunchy bean sprouts. Just give that one final toss. What more could you ask for? Enjoy. And of course, you can find Ching's recipes on our website. That was so easy, even I could do that.